Hey guys, it's S. Dot. So, um, today I want to talk about the book that I wrote, Being the Greatest You. And I want to discuss it chapter by chapter. Now, what encouraged this book was me going through things in my life. And one day a title just came to me and I decided to write this book. So, I'm going to leave the, in, in the, I guess the comments or the info, my Instagram, my business page. Because hopefully with me getting the following, I can get into the book and might want to purchase the book. But either way, I want people to be a part of the movement and what I'm talking about. Okay, self-love, self-reservation, and self-empowerment. So, um, I'm gonna um, pull up on my other phone, my book, and discuss it chapter by chapter. Also, if anybody's looking at the, the glimmer glimmer on me, earrings custom made from Casual Lux, I'll put the information in the comments. Shirt from Casual Lux, little shimmer, because I know it was coming on here, but yes, that's my cousin's store, so I want y'all to follow her Instagram and most importantly, the website, so yes. Okay, got it. Another book. The greatest shoe. Okay. The first chapter I entitled God is Great. Okay, so God is Great. In this chapter, I basically talk about um, God being the surface of everything and how great He is and moving us through many obstacles, time and time again, myself personally, I'm talking about, and um, just, you know. Just basically to keep your faith and your foundation in him going through all obstacles and anything that you're struggling with. Now, the second chapter is called Find Your Happiness. Find your happiness means to just get to a basic point of yourself of the things that make you happy and getting into those things. Deeply getting into those things that make you happy and appreciating your own talents or your own individual like your, your yourself as an individual and um, the things that you're great at because that promotes self appreciation okay third chapter grateful to be alive the third chapter is just basically implementing and emphasizing the fact that you are alive the fact that you live to fight another day the fact that you are here means you have another chance um, Listen. Chapter four. Chapter four. Spend time with you. Um, a lot of time we get la um, wrapped up in relationships. Sometimes, uh, especially like with women, we the one that bear children, so we have children. You know, our snapback. You understand? Uh, our everything just get pushed back for our kids with good mothers. You understand? That's just how it go with your good mother. You're a good mother, your schedule has been pushed back, things have been turned around because with you being the best for someone else, a little human being you created, it alters your whole flow. You know what I'm saying? But not in a bad way, it's all for the best way, but that's why I put that chapter, spend time with yourself. When you spend time with yourself, you're getting back, like the other chapter I said, you're, you're into the things that you love to do. And you are really getting to know yourself all over again. You know what I'm saying? Take yourself out. Which brings me to the next chapter. Chapter 5, dating yourself. I feel like it's very important to date yourself because you give yourself appreciation and you are doing things for yourself. Things that you might feel empty about in your heart because maybe you don't have a significant other and stuff like that. A lot of things you can do for yourself. Give yourself gifts. Take yourself out. You know, um, let's see. Chapter six, breaking a routine. Let me see. Breaking a routine is just about um, getting yourself in order. Like, uh, if you, like for instance, if you stay up late and you know you have class, but then you complain that you're tired tomorrow for class. We as human beings, we need rest. Our minds, I don't know about you guys, is on a long 24-7. I'm a person that is hard to sleep because 
you know, my mind races at night. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. So it's just like break the unhealthy routines that stay in your way from reaching your goals. You know what I'm saying? Like today making this video, it took me so long because I'm like, I don't have an angle. You know what I'm saying? Right now I'm on my iPhone. I don't have a professional camera. All of this stuff that just stops you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just get out there and do it. Break the routine. You know what I'm saying? The thing that been in your way, throw it away. That was chapter um, six. Chapter seven is being a privilege to be with me. Now, chapter seven is not about being cocky. It's about being confident. You know what I'm saying? If you find yourself as a jewel and you find yourself rare as you should, you know what I mean? Because you should be your own biggest fan. You should feel like it's a privilege for people to be with you. Now, you don't have to be mean and disrespectful to people and literally go around screaming that, but you have to know on the inside that they are privileged to be with you because you are a benefit, you are a Jew, you are a gem, you are rare. You understand? Realize that on the inside. And for the, for the niggas that think they cocky, tell it to their face. Uh, let's see the next one chapter 8 quality time with your kids now I'm a mom so like um, I feel like quality time is very important they grow so quickly so um, also with not just solely focusing on a date in life and getting back to yourself also with that you know spend quality time with your kids you can make a list of things or as such of new things to do with them see what they're into make sure their mental health is okay because kids go through a lot I remember going to school and I never wanted to go to school you know what I'm saying not because I was being bullied or anything like that I'm very much not a people person I've been like that since a little little girl so just make sure their mental health is already okay make sure everything is okay in their school care about their day talk to them just find new activities to do with them and this is another way to stir your focus another direction instead of thinking about maybe the hurt and pain people cause you you know what I'm saying so um, this is putting your focus in a healthy way uh, that was chapter 8 chapter 9 your body okay when I talk about the body um, in that chapter I'm basically talking about how food is not the main killer yes I said it food is not the main killer people are you understand people will kill you they will stress you out, they will drain you. So just the same way they say, watch what we put in our bodies. Watch who you have around your body. You understand? Because that is influential to influential to your well-being. Period. Point blank and period. So, um, the last chapter, pain into profit. This is my favorite chapter by far because it is talking about turning whatever shaped you and mold you in your life and of course we all been through so much turn it into your profit the same way hopefully this book will be my profit hopefully it will touch people you know and it has a few people and I'm not gonna stop until it's a big thing until my, my writing is out there until everything I'm doing is out there so I turn my pain into profit by writing this book Profit, I don't just see as money. I see it as what helps somebody else. So you think about it, um, for instance, usually people sometimes have been through certain things in life, they'll write music. Like I write music as well. So if I go through something and I write a song, and now my song is on the number one billboards, I turn my pain into profit. You understand? Or maybe if I was sad and on my spare time I learned, I learned, I learned how to draw. I, I discovered I know how to draw. And now I'm writing, I'm doing illustrations for books and, and comics and stuff. Just an example, turning my pain into profit. So whatever you went through, let it shape you in the correct way, in the healthy way, in some way that could implement to another person because I believe that God truly wants us to be an instrument for other individuals in a positive light, you know. So, um... <clears throat> So that's it, you know, and I have put the book out March 19th, 2019. Um, I've been writing since I was 12, and um, what I did, I don't have everything all officially lined up, but I'm learning my way. Um, right now, I have a business Instagram. I could put it in this video. Um, it's Shaniqua underscore McCrory. 
Uh, once again, I'm repping my cousin's online shop, Casual Lux. I'll put that in the information as well. This is where I got these pretty hoop custom made earrings at and my little glittery, glittery shirt. So, um, hopefully y'all follow the business Instagram. Let me know how you feel. I'm going to try to keep uploading. It's not just going to be like so... I don't know if you call this video dry, but it's not going to be like that. Y'all get to see my personality, and I will make more videos just discussing topics. So, see you later.